Next up, we have Ben Green, who spoke at the last DevShop. He's going to give us an update on his work with Reactive MySQL. Hello. All right. Hi. I'm Ben. Um, I'm not just going to talk about MySQL. I've also got a, uh, another couple of packages that I've been working on lately as far as lazy loading your templates so you can get a faster page load. Um, but I guess first, I'll start off with the MySQL update. Um, since December 4th, I have made it work using the binary replication log instead of just using triggers. So you can now use MySQL with a larger system. If you've got multiple Meteor servers connected to one MySQL database, that works with the binary log, and it should be a lot faster. You don't no longer have to pull any sort of database table. So take another look at the NumTel MySQL package if you're uh, interested in SQL support. And, uh, in the coming months, there should be even more. So um, keep an eye on that. As far as lazy loading Meteor packages, that's something that I've kind of um, looked at these last couple weeks. Um, you know, when you get a ton of templates on your Meteor app, they've got to all be loaded on initial page load when you stick them in the client directory. But there's a way that I came up to kind of change the way it around so you can stick your templates, your HTML, your JavaScript, your CSS files, in the client or, or I'm sorry, in the public or private directory and load them using Iron Router when you change to a specific route. So I'm gonna bring up an example app that I had made. Let's see. Oops. All right, so if you go to my GitHub here, it's numtel slash meteor component example. This is a Meteor app that you can clone and take a look at. Basically what it does is it's exactly like the default Meteor Hello app, except the template is loaded later on using this package. So you can, st you can still click it. And it's green because I wanted to make sure that you could load CSS files. But the main thing that drives this is this public sources.json file where you can describe Let's see, how do you zoom in on a Mac? Where you can describe basically these bundles, which I'm calling them, that get loaded using Iron Router. So I've got these main.js, tuple.html, and styles.less in my public directory. And those are getting directed to a hello.js and hello.css file. So then I can load that just like as if it was some, another file in my public directory. And then you can cut all these files out of your initial page load by not putting them in your client directory. And this is running off of public sources, but I've also got something called private sources, which does the exact same thing, except you're able to intercept loads or intercept these bundles as they're loading and say, you know, this connection is not actually authenticated to load the administrator panel. We're not going to give that to them. Or if they are able to do that, then you could load the administrator panel. And that's linked down further down on the example here. So you've got, so this uses Miro preloader, which Miro Hibbler has written and public sources, and then you go down further, and you can see the link to the private sources package, which has basically the same thing, and it uses an Iron Router plugin, which this documentation could probably be improved. Um, I'm not saying this is the only way that you could lazy load templates. I'd have had suggestions that possibly there might be a way that it'd be useful to load them all on the server and then have some sort of subscription, but this is ready to go right now if you want to give it a try. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah? Um, can you control the source order with that file? Um, the question was, can you control the source order? Very good question. Um, yeah, the source order is actually somewhat important. Um, it is loaded, you know, first file to the last file, just like you would expect. Um, except for HTML files, they are automatically brought to the front. So your JavaScript files can see that you've actually got the templates there, which is the same thing that Meteor does. So if you're using like Jade, which also you, for using templates, you, it does not automatically have Jade built in. So you've got to remember that your Jade templates are going to have to go before your JavaScript or CoffeeScript or whatever you're using. And is, you're, you can do hot code pushes, all that kind of thing using this technique. But if you, were, if you had your app running and then you added a package like Jade, you'd have to restart for it to recognize that you can use Jade templates. Just, I just don't have that working yet. Any other question? Yeah? Um, does this work with uh, server-side build plugins? Like, how do you have less 
Oh, like how does the actual internal of the package work? Well, I guess what I'm saying is like, will it work with any build plugin that you can download from Atmosphere? Yes. Okay, the question was, will this work with any build plugin you can download from Atmosphere? And the question is yes. Yes, it does work with any build plugin. It hooks into the same build process that Meteor uses to build your app. Um, it, I mean, it's only like 30 lines of code, the actual like implementation. It was definitely just like a major head scratcher trying to figure out how to configure the functions so that you could do it this way. But from my initial tests, it seems to work all right, and I'd love to hear more feedback on it. And if somebody wants to try it out, please let me know. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Okay.